there is something we got to talk about as far as Martin Luther King weekend goes because there's another big storm coming right after this one. All rain. All rain. But you know, I don't want to, I don't want to. Uh, and I don't want to rain on the skiers' party right now because it is great for you. No question about it. Right now, currently your skies are mostly clear. It's cold. It's only 33 degrees. Part of the equation, which is why we believe this starts as snow in the city, turns over to rain. Here we go. 4 p.m. It's snow in New York City. There's your rain snow line, okay? Just nipping at Staten Island. Jersey Shore, you're holding on to all rain. But watch how this rain snow line doesn't just blow right through the city. 4 p.m., until 7 p.m. That's three hours. The snow's probably coming down at that point in time, up to half an inch per hour. So you picked up an inch and a half of snow right there, and then the rain snow line pushes to the north, holding on to all snow all the while for our northern suburbs out there where the big snowfall totals will be. And then it finishes up as a little burst of snow because the storm has now pushed well offshore, and now it's supplying its own cold air. So you pick up some snow on the back end. Not as much as your chances to pick it up on the front end, however. So let me show you. We talked about some numbers I want to go over. The graph is suggesting New York City picks up 1.8 inches of snow. All right, but look at this big number. That number for Tannersville right now, from everything we've looked at, is the bullseye for the Northeast. More here than we're seeing in Portland, Maine. 22.3 being projected. Maybe it's a little aggressive, but the fact is the elements are there, and it's a possibility. You're about a foot from Poughkeepsie over to Monticello. You're nine inches for Newburgh, 7.3 Sparta. Let's give you a, a super uh, local look here, hyper local. The point seven, yes, they like down around Wall Street in New York City. Yeah, very modest numbers out throughout Long Island. But look at this, 0.7 in New York, 2.7 in Yonkers. I mean, just outside the boroughs. And, I mean, that's the sort of thing that we're seeing. The potential for maybe the Bronx, uh, maybe northern Manhattan to see significantly more than Staten Island. And then here's a story in Bergen County, Hackensack 1.8, Wyckoff 5.2 over to West Milford where it's 9.3. Well, lo and behold, 17. Route 17 runs right there. If you're on the northwest side, you're going to see significantly more snow than if you're on the you know, sort of southeast side of 17, right? Because the, the gradient from less snow to more snow is pretty darn tight. It's only a number of miles right there. Here's what we've got to talk about for Tuesday into Wednesday of next week. Look at this storm that rolls in. On the heels of a pretty good storm that's coming in this weekend, you have a big, big rainmaker. Takeaway from this picture, the rain snow line is in Vermont. All right, so we are putting, we're putting rain on top of that snow, and that is a problem for some flooding out there. National Weather Service today is already issuing alerts for the area rated in red. That's the bullseye where we could see some real flooding problems. And, of course, what do you take away from that bullseye? The exact same areas where we had historic flooding about two weeks ago, and now we're talking about putting snowpack out there and rain-saturated ground. That's a problem, everybody, so we're going to watch that one. We have two red alerts on this board, one from Saturday afternoon to Sunday, a break on Monday, and then that second storm comes in with all rain on Tuesday. Uh, so we started off this forecast by talking about the skiers. The skiers should enjoy this weekend. Get, get to Hunter on Sunday. <laughs> yes. Racer's Edge, Claire's Way, the whole thing. Can you, you know? imagine if they pick up 22 inches it of snow? It would be fun. There. All right. Crazy.